In this video, you're going to learn about Lenz's Law and we have the definition for Lenz's Law. Lenz's Law states that the induced current always flows in a direction that opposes. Pay attention to the word opposes. Opposes the change of magnetic flux that causes it. So we will learn about this more so that you can understand the definition. Now let's say that we have a wire which is wound around a cylinder, a hollow cylinder. The hollow cylinder there, I just uh, draw it there. It can be there or it may not be there, it's okay as long as you can see the wound. It is, worn it is wound around the cylinder. And then, uh, I want you to pay attention to the way uh, the wire is wound around the cylinder. It can be like this, or it can be like this. Do you see any difference? This kind of uh, winding, and this kind of winding. You can see, in this case, you can see that this part that this part is in the near side of the uh, cylinder and you can see that this one now you can see that this wire this wire goes far side of the uh, cylinder actually the cylinder is hollow so the magnet can enter into the cylinder the hollow cylinder okay now when you have understood that now let us try to bring a magnet okay this is a, a magnet bar and as we know that there is magnetic field around it so let's say that we can actually move this um, magnet bar near uh, the cylinder okay let me do it this way <coughs> okay here it is okay now actually we can move it you can move this bar magnet into the uh, solenoid okay you can bring close or you can bring away actually you can move it in, uh, in and out actually when you are moving like this the magnetic field is cut by the wire it is cut by the wire which is wound around uh, the cylinder okay now what happens now we go on with this situation okay now yeah. let's say that you bring this magnet bar close to uh, the solenoid what happens is the solenoid will be magnetized okay this solenoid itself become magnetized So, when it is magnetized, it must have pole. As we know that uh, it, this magnet will oppose, will oppose this magnet bar which gets close to it. So, this one should be a north pole. Okay. So we have, we have learned this. This is north pole. So the rest of it shows the direction of current so the current is like this so, so what happens is current flows in this direction so the galvanometer will be deflected to the left in, the, in this case okay so that is how it works you must be able to determine the way uh, the wire is wound around this uh, hollow cylinder because it will determine the direction of current here. 
Okay. Now let us try to change the direction. Now let's say we have the same magnetic bar, but in this case it is moving away from uh, the solenoid. What happens is this solenoid will oppose the change. It will oppose the change so it will try to pull back this magnetic bar from going away so the pole here should be south because we know south and north will pull one another so when this is south this one should be north and one more time you can apply the rule you'll find that the direction of current is upward in the near side of the uh, solenoid so when you have this situation, you know that the current will flow in this direction. So what happens is uh, the pointer of galvanometer will be pointed to the right, will be deflected to the right. Okay. That is how it works. Actually, you can change uh, the orientation of the magnet bar. We can see in this case I have changed it. I've changed it now south on this side. So when you bring this one close to the solenoid, what happens is this part will be north. Sorry, this part will be south because south will pull will push each other push each other because it try to oppose the motion. So when this is south south here this one should be north so we have current flowing upward in the near side of this solenoid and then it goes in this direction and then it will be deflected this way okay and then we go on to the last situation now this bar magnet moves away from the solenoid so what happens is the solenoid here becomes a magnet that tries to oppose the motion so it must be north here because north north pole will try to pull the south pole from the permanent magnet so when this one is north so as we know that our thumb shows north north so the rest of the fingers you can see that you can see here it points downward so the near side of the solenoid will you can see that the current in the near side will flow downward so in this case you can see that the deflection of the galvanometer will be on this side okay the situation could be different you need to be able to determine the way it is wound as we I have mentioned earlier because it will affect the way current flows but as long as you are able to apply uh, Lenz's law and apply right hand group rule in this case you will be able to determine which direction of the current from there you will be able to determine the deflection of galvanometer